Hey guys, my name is Patrick Garrido, and we are going to talk about a very unique topic that we don't really know, have a conversation with others, and that is diversity. But before we go on talking about this, I decided to ask a few questions about um, this to my teacher, and um, please give a warm welcome to my English teacher, Mr. Brenneman. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good so, to be here. Good, that's good. So, I have a few questions. Um, so, I hear you speak another language other than English. And which is that? I speak Turkish. Turkish, okay. At a pretty um, fluent level. And I speak some Arabic, too. Okay. So, can you give us a brief background of yourself? Well, um, I was born in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And I lived around the world growing up as well. Okay. But the reason I speak Turkish is because after college, uh, I moved to Turkey to teach English okay. and ended up staying for a total of five and a half years. Okay. Living mostly, after my first year, I lived mostly with Turkish people who didn't speak a lot of English. Mm -hmm. So I was speaking a lot of Turkish during okay. that time. Was it easy or was it hard to like, learn it? Um, it's, it? It's both. Uh, it's both. There's difficulties not being able to express what you want to express mm -hmm. and just having to be to use the tools that you have, with, okay. and when they're limited, that can be frustrating. Okay. And now, um, what do you think about diversity? What, what, can, um, what is the definition for you for diversity? Hmm. Well, I think diversity is just a human reality, because uh, if every human being is unique, then diversity is, is endless, right? Mm -hmm. So there's diversity in language, of course, in culture and religion, but also in, in in thinking styles and personalities and in mindsets and all different ways. Mm -hmm. So I think diversity and oneness are actually very related. Okay. Because if you think about an example of like a garden, mm -hmm. so in a garden it, they all benefit from the same, all the plants and flowers benefit right. from the same sun and earth and water, yeah. but they express uh, their individuality, their uniqueness in, in different ways. Mm -hmm. so, so to me that is really what diversity is. Okay. And now, I have another question. Um, are you really fluent in the second language, or is it just um, just like like if I ask you how to say this, it's just, you are able to tell me? Yes. I mean, I, I, I think I understand almost any conversation, Mostly. and I can be in any situation and, and get around, and I speak very easily and comfortably. So it's a spectrum, right? I'm not like mm -hmm. a perfect speaker of Turkish or right. perfectly fluent. I'm not a native speaker. Okay. But, um, you know, I'm at a fairly decent level of proficiency. I don't know. But okay. I can probably translate something, sure. Okay. How do you say, how are you? Nasılsın. Okay. Nasılsın? Nasılsın. Oh, if I want to be polite, though, <laughs> okay. I was being a bit informal since I know you. But if I didn't know you, I would okay. say, nasılsın is. Which is? Just the same thing, but at, at, that mm. is at the end okay. is done in a more, like in Spanish, like the usted okay. form. I they have the polite that. form and the... The informal. informal form, yeah. There we go. Okay. And then, um, being an American, what advantage of speaking a different language? Wow, there are, so, there are so many, especially as an American, because we can tend to be in a bubble here mm -hmm. and be a little self-centered, because uh, mm -hmm. all the world is, you know, fascinated by America, attracted to come live in America, watch movies and American movies, listen to American music. So mm -hmm. it's important for Americans, I think, to gain other perspectives. and. Okay because language is tied up with culture. So if we gain a la uh, knowledge of other languages, we also gain knowledge of other cultures. Okay. And so being able to see things from other perspectives, I think, is really important okay. for, for people everywhere, but mm -hmm. maybe especially for Americans, because we have such an um, important role in the world, in a way, and, mm -hmm. and occupy such a big space in the world. OK. All right. And any kind of disadvantages that might come your way as Speaking another language? No, there are really no disadvantages no. at all, yes. Okay. Because you know children, when they learn a mm -hmm. foreign language, when they're really young, it has a lot of cognitive benefits. Mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're really, they're, their ability to learn in general is improved. Okay. So there's really no disadvantage. Okay. So, um, I guess pretty much it for the day. Oh. You know, I really enjoyed interviewing you. And it was really nice knowing that I, me as a student, had a teacher did I didn't know that um, spoke another language. I thought you did speak a little Spanish, but 
Yeah, well, Hablo he, español. Uh, Hablo español un poquito. Poquito. Okay. Sí. <laughs> sí. Um, Çok teşekkür ederim. Ben çok beğendim bu uh, görüşme. İnşallah görüşmek üzere. Oh, sorry, I was speaking <laughs> Turkish. <laughs> What were you saying in Turkish? I said I really enjoyed this conversation and okay. uh, thank you very much. All right, well, thank you. Okay. All right, well, please give a warm applause for um, letting him join us, you know, and thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, Petra. Thank you.